This is lecture number two of six lectures on renal disorders. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to answer these questions. What is polycystic kidney disease? What causes polycystic kidney disease? What are its major risk factors? What are the signs and symptoms of polycystic kidney disease or PKD? How is PKD diagnosed? How is PKD managed? And what are the complications? What is polycystic kidney disease? Polycystic kidney disease or PKD is an inherited disorder in which clusters of cysts develop primarily within your kidneys causing your kidneys to enlarge and lose function over time. Cysts are non-cancerous round sacs containing fluid. Polycystic kidney disease is one of the major causes of chronic kidney disease or end-stage renal disease. What causes polycystic kidney disease? Genetic mutations in PKD1, PKT2, and PKHD1 genes cause polycystic kidney disease. In a very small number of cases, polycystic kidney disease is acquired. What are the risk factors for polycystic kidney disease? The risk factor is family history. In about 90% of PKD, the affected, in about 90% of PKD, the affected person inherits the condition from one affected parent. That is the parent has PKD. That is autosomal PKD, which occurs in ad adults. In a few cases, the affected person inherits the defective gene from both parents, neither one of which has PKD. That is recessive PKD, which occurs in children. In this lecture, we will focus on autosomal PKD in adults. What are the signs and symptoms of polycystic kidney disease? In the early stages, polycystic kidney disease has no clinical manifestations. That is to say, early on, polycystic kidney disease is silent. That is because, as you recall, each kidney has about 1 million nephrons. So the functioning nephrons will try to compensate for the non-functioning nephrons. Symptoms will typically appear when the affected adult is between 30 to 50 years old. Hypertension is typically the first symptom. On imaging studies, you will see bilateral and large kidneys. Upon inspection, you will see increased abdominal girth. Upon percussion of the costovertebral angle, uh, this will elicit pain or tenderness. UTI is not unusual, so the patient may report urgency and frequency of urination and pain during urination. Because of cyst rupture, there might be blood in the urine. How is polycystic kidney disease diagnosed? PKD is diagnosed through a combination of imaging studies, family history, and clinical manifestations. Definitive diagnosis is through imaging such as MRI, CT scan, and IVP, or intravenous pilogram. Renal ultrasound is less invasive and less expensive. Um, therefore, ultrasound is often used to diagnose polycystic kidney disease. 
Recall that PKD is an autosomal genetic mutation, so the clinician will ask if either parent had PKD. And of course, the presenting clinical manifestations in the previous slide, foremost of which is hypertension. How is PKD managed and what are the complications of PKD? First, how is PKD managed? There is no treatment to stop cyst formation. Medical management is therefore primarily to control hypertension with ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. Frequently and unfortunately, polycystic kidney disease progresses to chronic kidney disease and so dialysis becomes in inevitable. Complication of PKD. The most common complication is renal failure. In my opinion, renal failure is really a feature of the disease, not a complication. Maybe it's a matter of semantics. But over time, if they long, live long enough, renal failure is almost guaranteed. Liver function may be decreased because of the cysts in the liver. Diverticulosis is another complication. U UTIs and hematuria are other complications. And so the cysts continued to multiply until there were thousands of them, squeezing out the blood supply to the kidneys, leading to its eventual demise. Uh, that's the end of this lecture on polycystic kidney disease. Please read on PKD from your textbook. This ends lecture number two. Thank you.